Thank you for joining us today. I'm Jacqueline Davies with Zions Bank Capital Markets, and I'm here with Jonathan Ward, Vice President of Zions Bank Public Finance. Jonathan has nearly 10 years of experience working with municipalities and governments as a financial advisor. Today we're talking about some of the recent revenue bond projects that he's been able to work on. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jonathan. It's my pleasure. Uh, what makes a municipal bond a revenue bond? Really the only distinction there is that the bonds are secured by a specified revenue source, and hence the name revenue bond. Uh, how do these differ from GO or general obligation bonds? General obligation bonds are backed by property taxes and the full faith and credit of a municipality, their ability to raise property taxes. Revenue bonds don't encumber or don't pledge any of the general revenues of community. Instead, they specify a revenue source, and it's only that source that will be given to bondholders as collateral. How does a municipality uh, decide to issue these bonds? What are the steps involved? The first step probably is identifying the project. If they have a water project, for instance, that needs to be done, whether a storage tank or distribution lines, they say, that's our project, therefore we will collateralize or secure our water revenues for the bondholders. Once they define that revenue source, they start engaging in some debt ratio analysis, trying to determine whether they would be able to sell those bonds on the market with a strong credit rating or whether they should privately place them. The next step is just to look at where they would, uh, where they would sell it and at what rates. If the market has a better interest rate than a private placement, uh, they may choose that route over the other. Could you tell us a little bit about debt service ratio and what that means? Debt service ratios are basically what percentage of your annual payment, um, well, what percentage of your annual payment is exceeded by net revenues or revenues after operation and maintenance expenses have been paid. It's one of the key rating ratios that they look at. One of your current projects, uh, Spanish Fork, Utah. I'd like to talk about that a little, if you could elaborate. Spanish Fork had this brilliant idea. I thought it was brilliant. They had concluded that one of their most expensive operating and maintenance expenses was their power costs. Water runs down the canyon and they take it at the bottom of the, the valley basically and lift it or pump it up to a storage reservoir on the side of the mountain. They concluded with the trend in power costs over the last couple of years that it would be less expensive to read direct that water from a higher elevation up the canyon and gravity feed it straight to the reservoir as opposed to pumping it from the valley floor up. They decided by so doing they'd basically have a net gain. What money they were saving on pe uh, power costs and pumping costs mm -hmm. would be rerouted to annual debt payments and after that debt had been repaid they would actually have a net gain. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you being with us. We're talking with Jonathan Ward from Zions Bank Public Finance, and we'll hope you join us next time.